It's always a good time. It's always a good time at Pizza Pizza. My question today is, why is Pizza Pizza deceiving Canadian consumers? My name is Rob Syke. I'm a professional agrologist and a certified agricultural consultant who works in the agricultural sector. And the kind of advertising that's going on right now with uh, firms such as Pizza Pizza leaves a lot to be desired with transparency with respect to uh, Canadian consumers. So let's have a quick look at what they're talking about here at Pizza Pizza. And uh, I'll give you a little run through of what I'm seeing here. Pizza Pizza, especially since our pizza is made from so many good things, like our fresh dough, hand-tossed and dusted with Durham's... Okay, so what is Durham, Durham semolina flour? Well, Durham semolina flour refers to a special kind of wheat grown by Canadian farmers. It's high in gluten, high in protein, and a really nice wheat with a sandy consistency that gives uh, your flour and gives your crusts a nice golden texture. So. I would like to see Pizza Pizza talking about Canadian Durham flour rather than Durham semolina, which basically is a term that most consumers really wouldn't have a, an understanding of. Semolina are GMO free vine ripened. GMO free vine ripened tomato sauce. Well, exactly what is it that Pizza Pizza says their tomato sauce is free of? Well, GMO refers to a term, very broad based term, called genetically modified organisms and virtually everything that we eat today is genetically modified. Corn does not even represent its ancestry. Uh, uh, your, your carrots weren't originally orange, they were white and purple and then they were bred orange with beta carotene. Cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts all come from the same plant and were genetically modified over time. So what is it that Pizza Pizza is saying that their tomato sauce is free of exactly? Because on my understanding is all tomatoes actually are genetically modified and bred over time. What they're referring to is they're saying that their tomato sauce is genetically engineered free. And genetic engineering basically is an advancement of the breeding process. And the reason I'm having a issue with this is because there are technically no genetically engineered tomatoes on the marketplace today. So Pizza Pizza is saying that their tomato sauce is not genetically engineered when there aren't any genetically engineered tomato sauce on the marketplace, at least not yet. And I'm hoping that there will be because there is a brand new tomato out there that's high in anthocyanins. It's going to be a purpler tomato. It'll be higher in antioxidants. So I don't know why Pizza Pizza is deceiving customers by saying that their tomato sauce is GMO free or genetically engineered free when there aren't any genetically engineered tomatoes. Let's continue on a little bit further. Tomato sauce topped with 100% 100 100 Canadian cheese, right on. But did you know that virtually 90% of the hard cheese in North America is GMO'd? Well, how could that be? Well, cheese today is genetically engineered. Why? Because there's a coagulant that's used to make cheese called chismosin or renin. Renin used to be extracted by scraping the lining of the fourth stomach of a calf. So you would have to have young calves, slaughter those calves, scrape out the inside of the stomachs to get renin or chismosin. Today, it's made with recumbent DNA technology. Effectively, all cheese, virtually 90% cheese, is GMO'd or genetically engineered. But Pizza Pizza isn't telling you that. Canadian cheese. Create your own large three topping pizza with three free cold. Well, virtually all soft drinks today have in them genetically engineered ingredients because we're using fructose, sucrose derived from the crops that we grow across North America. So for them to say that they have GMO free tomatoes while having GMO cheese and GMO in their soft drinks is really a deceit to the Canadian consumer. All for just $13.99. Pizza Pizza. Good. Pizza, pizza. Deceit, deceit, bullshit, bullshit. We need to have more transparency in advertising. Like to see it happen.